Hi, my name is Muhammad Syahid Aiman Ben Zainman and I am group from 9. So today we will be discussing about Ghost Jordan elimination method. In theory, Ghost Jordan elimination method is a method used in linear algebra to solve system of linear equation and to find the inverse of a matrix. It is an extension of the Gaussian elimination method and aims to transform a matrix into reduced row echelon form, also called row e reduced echelon form or RREF. The reduced row echelon form makes it easy to identify the solution to a system linear equation or inverse of a matrix. Uh, and there is also Gaussian elimination or it known as row reduction. It's a method used in linear algebra to solve system of linear equation and find the solution to a system of linear equation. It's named after a German mathematician Karl Friedrich Gauss who made significant contribution to the field. The basic idea behind Gaussian elimination is to perform a sequence of operation on the augmented matrix of a system of linear equation until it is transformed into a simpler form that is easier to solve. Hello, my name is Shafiq Wami Rosman, uh, B23KM00102. So I will continue with the Gauss-Jordan elimination and the purpose of Gauss-Jordan elimination is uh, to use the tree the elementary row operation to convert a matrix into a row reduced echelon matrices or RREM. Uh, a matrix is in RREM also known as a row canonical form. In other words, uh, this method, uh, Gauss-Jordan elimination is about converting from row echelon matrices REM to row reduced echelon matrices RREM. Uh, next, the main goal for this Gauss Jordan elimination method is to get the row reduced echelon form or REM at the end of the method of doing this method. So for example, the REM will be look like this. The leading one will be to the right and the others will be zero. Next, we proceed with the steps on how to perform gauss jordan elimination. So the first step is that uh, by looking at the matrices given from the equation, first we have to swap the rows which contain all the zeros and put it at the bottom of the matrices. After that, we have to swap the rows so that the row with the largest leftmost last zero entry is on top, uh, which is one from here, like this. And the third step is that uh, we multiply the top row by a scala so that the top row leading entry becomes 1, like this. Like uh, what we did when we are performing uh, REM. The next step is that we have to add or subtract multiples of the top row to the other row either from row 1 to row 2 or row 2 to row 3 so that all the other entries in the column containing the top row leading entry are all zero for example from row 1 all the leading entry of the low one will be zero the same goes to the next uh, column sorry like this and then the next step we have to repeat steps 2 until 4 for the next left most non zero entry the rest of the rest of it until all the leading entries are 1 
and then we have to swap the row so that the leading entry for each non zero row to the right of the leading entry of the row above it. For example, in this matrices, this column represent x, this column represent y, and this column represent z. So this is the overview of the gauss jordan elimination method. So first, by looking at the question given, the first step you have to do is to convert all this information into the matrix response, just like this. <coughs> and then once you do this, you have to do the gauss elimination method first, which is this method is you have to convert this matrices into row echelon form or REM. And for Gauss elimination method, once you get the row echelon mat matrices or REM, you have to do the substitution method in order to get the values of x, y, and z. But for the Gauss Jordan elimination method, you have to continue from the REM from Gauss elimination method and you convert it into RREM. So once you get the RREM, you can directly get the values for X, Y, and Z. So in other words, uh, the gauss jordan elimination method is much simpler than uh, the gauss elimination method. Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Ifan. So I am about to continue what my friend just presented. So, for my part, I will explain the example of Gauss-Jordan elimination method. So, before we go to the real solution, I want to remind you that our magic objective of this method is to get a reduced excellent form as shown. So, when we get this kind of form at our final calculation, so we can directly conclude that our our answer is present like this, where x and y and z so we can get the final answer when we obtain this form on our calculation so let's go for the example 7.13 so given this kind of question and first we have to convert the question to a metric form like this next we have to perform the ERO method first, as shown. It is because we want, uh, if we want to do the cost jordan elimination method, we have to obtain the final result of ERO method, like where the zero is placed at this position, this and this, and one is present like this position. So when we obtain the final form of ERO method. Then we can proceed the course to the elimination method. So, uh, however, I will not show you the ERO method because this example is to show you how the course to the elimination works. So, my calculation is I want to eliminate the number of one at the first row. So, our operation is multiply the negative one at the second row and plus with the first row as I want to eliminate the number at the first row so I obtain this answer next I want to eliminate the negative four at the second row so this is our product this is our operation so the operation is I multiply 4 for the number at the first row and plus with the number at the second row. So negative 4 plus so 4 plus negative 4 becomes plus 0. And the last step is I want to eliminate the number 6 to become 0. So I want to eliminate the positive 6, I have to obtain negative 6. So, as calculation, 
I do the operation at the third row where I multiply the number at the third row with negative 6 and plus with the number at the first row as I want to eliminate the positive 6 at the first row. So finally, we obtain the echelon form. So when we, as I said before, when we obtain this form, we can directly conclude that our answer is this, where the x is represent with 1, y is 2, and z is 3. As I said before, after we perform it, the reduced excellent form, we can directly conclude our answer like this. And our operation that I use in the cost judgment method is like this. The operation is handled like this. So, this all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Farid Iskandar bin Wazaha. I am from section 41. Today, I will continue this video by answering a few past year questions. Okay. Since I picked the old test, since 2011 and 2013, there are some major difference in the question. For example, this question, we can ignore the question because in the question need us to determine whether the solution is line or plane. This intersect with the chapter 6 vector so we can ignore, ignore this question and just answering this question and determine the value of x, y and z. Okay, first we need to use the Gauss Jordan. The, and the question said you need to use Gauss Jordan elimination method to solve the system linear equation given by x a x equal to b. Okay, first we need to use Gauss Jordan and solve the linear equation. By doing that, we need to combine these matrices and the matrices to one matrix. So by doing that, one negative one one two one. 3, negative 1, 4, negative 6. Oh, sorry. 4, 2, negative 10. Okay. By, okay. And then, we need to turn, reduce these matrices into R, R, E, M. R, R, E, M by using E, R, O. So, R, R, E, M means that the matrices should be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 should be these matrices then we can determine the value of x, y and z so by doing that we need to make sure that the first first row is the entry leading and by making this first row as entry lead by leading entry leading so this box down here should be 0 to make sure that 1 the first row is the leading so by doing that um, I need to turn this board into zero but I, I solve it step by step I solve the negative one first so I use the ERO row 1 plus row 3 so the row 3 will be changing And it should it should not be a negative sign, it must be positive. And then uh, I solve it by by the first row plus the third row. So by doing that, negative negative one one four two one negative three two. And just solve it. So one, just solve uh, column by column. So one plus negative one, negative one is equal to zero. And negative one plus four, negative one plus four is equal to three. And one plus negative six is equal to negative one. 
1 plus negative 6 plus 2 negative 5 and lastly 4 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 6 4 plus negative 10 I'm sorry 4 4 plus negative 10 is equal to negative 6 so you can put the value here 0 3 negative 5 and negative 6 okay and then I turn this to 0 and then I the second step I will turn these two into 0 We're using the same method but in different approach negative 2 r1 plus r2 that's mean this one the leading it should be must be the leading it cannot be other other number so that means that negative 1 negative 2 of 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 so i can turn this into 0 it must be referred to the leading cannot be referred to other as so by doing that the first row and the third row is will remain the same 4 0 3 negative 5 negative 6 and then just solve it using this solve this this both by using your row but the, the row that changing is the second row so i just straightforward 0 3 negative 5 and negative 6 okay that means that 1 negative 2 or multiply by 1 negative 2 multiply by 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 and negative 1 multiply by negative 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and negative 2 multiply by 1 plus r3 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 5 and negative 2 multiply by 4 plus 2 is equal to negative equal to 6 okay, equal to 2 so just solve it by substitute the element of row first and row second and then after we do that we need to turn this second row second row the second row as the leading by doing that we need to turn this 3 into 1 So I need to divide divide R2 over 3 but I cannot do that this I should be doing like this 1 over 3 R2 you cannot do you cannot do R2 over 3 this is prohibited in the ERO so R3 and then the the first row and the third row will remain the same 1 4 0 3 negative 5 and negative 6 so the third all the third row i will multiply with 1 over 3 so by doing that still 0 it's 1 negative 5 over 3 and negative 2 Okay. Oops. And then I need to turn this three into one so that I can um I can turn I need to turn this into zero, sorry sorry. I need to turn this three into zero. So for easy to me to turn this into zero, I need to turn this into one, so that I can minus minus it with the leading. So first I need to turn. I need to turn this row into. I need to turn. I need to turn this three, sorry, into one. By multiplying this row with one over three. Negative 1, 1, 4, 0, 1, negative 5 over 3, negative 2. So, 
0 1 negative 5 over 3 and negative 2 okay and then I can turn this one I can turn this one so, sorry turn it into 0 by minus it with the leading that is 1 so by using that and I cannot put the minus sign so I use this step minus r2 plus r3 so the r3 will be changing negative 1 a1 negative 1 1 0 1 negative 5 over 3 4 negative 2 and 0 0 0 0 Okay, there are some they have a different approach because this one should be one or any other number because it is zero and this whole row is zero so we can identify it uh, sorry identify as infinite solution or many solution because because this entire third row is zero so it can it can be categorized as infinite infinite solution okay but okay and then we need to continue this step by turning this into zero because we make it still doesn't make this one as a leading second leading so by using that i need to refer this to the leading r2 plus r1 so one zero zero negative one 1 0 0 0 4 and then eh, sorry so for that 0 1 negative 5 over 3 should be negative 2 over 3 so for that should be 2 negative 2 okay there's some miscalculation so i correct it so this row is changing and this the negative one becomes zero so we can determine that this both are this one and this are leading and then we couldn't continue by making this one is zero because the leading is zero so we can we cannot refer to the zero so in this case we should stop at here and then make a conclusion so in this case we can determine that these both are dependent depend, depend depend value and this column are free value oh, so sorry okay and then i can turn this into an equation so 1x plus 0 y minus 2 over 3 z equals to 2 and 0x plus 1 y minus 5 over 3 z is equal to negative 2 and 0x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 0 so I can sum up the equation x minus 2 over 3z equals to 2 y minus 5 over 3z is equal to negative 2 and z it could be any kind of number because of the infinite because of the solution the solution is an infinite 
solution or many solution okay so it mean that z can be any kind of number so i put it some value i put some variable that is uh, k so to sum up all the value of x and y z so x is equal to 2 plus 2 over 3k y is equal to negative 2 plus 5 over 3k and z is equal to k so this is the answer as you can see here x and y sorry x and y is dependent on depend on z should be that if z is equal to 1 so the rest should be follow the same value of the z so this mean that this is the value and the comment of solution is the solution is an infinite solution or many solution the conclusion the gauss jordan elimination method provides a systematic way to find the solution to a system of linear equation and is particularly useful when the goal is to obtain the reduced row echelon form directly it is an important technique in linear algebra and numerical analysis for gaussian elimination is a fundamental method in linear algebra and is often used as a precursor to others to others methods for solving system of linear equation such as matrix factorization or LU decomposition.